Hello YouTube, this is Big Daddy with a preview or uh, just thoughts and impressions on KDE 5.8 Plasma. Um, well, I went to the update manager this morning and I seen the 5.8 in there, so I decided to update. I run KDE Neon, so it just pops in there and I updated and long story short, I received my first error on the system. So this was the error that I received when I tried to do it through the update manager. And I assumed that it has something to do with one of the updates needed a newer package that was installed on a computer before all the rest of the updates could be installed because my computer was up to date before I did that. So what I did was I did a sudo apt upgrade through the terminal, which upgraded most of the packages and left a couple there. That had unmet dependent dependencies so then i rebooted came back in went through the update manager again and lo and behold the rest of the updates installed and we're fine so um it is 5.8 it is a long-term support release uh, supported for 18 months so they put a lot of work into it there's a lot of fixes that went into it and i can attest to that because i did a video uh, on another on my other channel previously about the annoyances and bugs about plasma KDE so let's go through some of the things that they actually fixed that I talked about um, one of the things that they fixed was the panel moving um, I run dual monitors so the panel whenever I would reboot would move over to my secondary monitor when I logged in and every single time I would have to move my panel back over here to the primary monitor that was annoying yeah but anyway uh, it is fixed I can verify that it is um, the logout and uh, reboot suspend type menu has been changed it looks much better but more importantly it actually displays on the right monitor the primary monitor when you go to hit it you before it would display on the secondary monitor and that was annoying as well um, so there was a lot of uh, a lot of um, multi-monitor issues let's put it that way so along with the shutting down process I had explained in that video where my system after it logged out of KDE would hang on the on the when that screen was actually trying to shut down for like 90 seconds to a minute on the KDE neon logo just spinning and I had researched it and it had something to do with Wayland something or other so that is fixed as well now hopefully that doesn't come back creep back in with an update or anything but right as of right now I can say that that is fixed which makes me really happy because do you know how much of a pain it is to wait 90 seconds I mean we live in 2016 here who can wait 90 seconds really I mean that's ridiculous <laughs> anyway um, so they do have like I said the unified um, look they improved for the boot menu from the boot menu all the way up to the login screen um, it's a dark theme it's no longer the different colors and whatnot and it does look really good so that's one thing that they fixed um, they did add uh, support for the modifier keys to be used for like shortcuts so just the modifier key so like now I have my mouse over here and I can actually hit the Windows key or the meta key in Linux terms um, and it'll open the menu which is awesome it should have been that way from the beginning but it wasn't but it is awesome now now I will say it would be nice if you could actually hit that again to close it if you didn't want it open like if you hit it it doesn't if you hit it again it doesn't close it but that's not too big of a deal because one the whole purpose of using that kind of a key is so that you can hit it and start typing right away so then you start typing Firefox and you open it and the menu closes anyway so that's not a huge deal that would just be a perk but to be able to use the meta keys is pretty much awesome um, now the other thing that they did was they updated discover so uh, I had mentioned that 
Discover wasn't the answer for the update manager software installer because of the certain bugs in it hanging. Um, they fixed the part where it actually hangs, like when you would go and you would see updates in your task in your uh, system tray, and you would click it, it would go and it would do the circle thing, and then it would say your software is up to date. But it really wasn't up to date, and then you wait 15 seconds, and bang, there it would go. It would just pop up. So they fixed that. So now that it just just spins until it actually catches the update, it never gives you that your software is up to date when it's not. So that's uh, another fix that they did. But look at what they did to discover. Wow, they actually made it modern looking and nice looking. Now, if you'll notice, these here say remove, but they're not actually highlighted. And I've taken notice that you have to wait a minute or two for it to actually come up so you can so it's so the remove or install button is actually usable but I can see that it's they're they're making improvements to it so as you see here the install button but it's not highlighted in order for you to actually install something but you give it a minute and it'll come through but this is a this allows you to um, Install software, obviously you're not, you know that, but um, it's it's a welcome improvement to what it looks like, and uh, that's really nice. I have to say, uh, it's not perfect, but it is nice. Um, so they have made tons of improvements. I will put a link to this page in the video and it tells you all about plasma but you probably know all about plasma if you're watching this video but it tells you about the unified boot to shut down artwork they added right to left language support for other languages um, improved applets so like when you now i don't have the uh, task manager on my panel anymore because i use plank but for those of you who do use the uh, task manager when you right click on an item it'll actually give you more options like if you're using a music player it'll let you switch to track and whatnot um, yeah so there's been a lot of improvements made so I appreciate all of them because man some of them are really 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 annoying but um, hats off to the KDE guys and you know what until next time Big Daddy out